is in town. Merry Christmas, everyone, and happy holidays. I hope everyone is doing fabulous. We are near the end of 2020. Thank you, Jesus. And I thought about it and I was like, what are we gonna do for my final videos on my channel this year? And I was like, well, we went all out for my Halloween makeup tutorials. So we might as well do a few, you know, Christmas tutorials. Yes. So with all that being said, it's time to get behind this camera and wrap it up. Let's begin. All right, everyone. Yes, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am going to be transforming myself into Mrs. Frost. You all know Jack Frost. Well, consider me his wife, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited. Now, to begin and to start things off, I am going to be painting myself blue. I've already been pink this year. I've been green, I've been red. So we might as well finish things off this year by painting me blue. So of course I'm going to be diving into my boom, Mehron Makeup Face Paint Palette. I have used this thing so many times this year. She is incredible. I love Mehron so much. And if you guys didn't watch my Instagram story or my Snapchat or any of my social medias, uh, what are you doing? Um, they sent me, Mayron sent me a PR package, a little Christmas uh, present. Yes, honey. So I have a bunch of Mayron brand new products to try out in my upcoming videos. And I'm gonna try a few things out today that are in here and I'm so excited. So yes, thank you to Mayron. I love you guys. So let's start slapping on some blue. slapped on some blue Mehron paint all over me and now I match my suit perfectly. Yes, I love it so far. Now we do have a little bit of a problem. You see how I have a lace front wig? Well, the blue paint doesn't want to go on the lace so I am going to grab a smaller brush and kind of go in and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, maybe I can get the paint to stick onto the lace. Um, and then I'm going to, of course, set all of this blue paint with a blue eyeshadow and I'm going to dive into the ColourPop, <laughs> ColourPop Blue Moon Eyeshadow Palette. Yep. Oh my god, what? One of the eyeshadows just fell out. Oh my god. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank god it's not a blue shade. I, uh, <laughs> anyway, we are going to use these. Um, eyeshadows to set and lock this paint in place. Um, so that's what's next. So um, now that I have frostbite, oh wait, actually, I think frostbite is more of a pur purple color, um, purple shade. <laughs> anyway, okay, y'all will have to excuse me. I made a little bit of an error. Before I set my face with the blue eyeshadow by ColourPop, I'm going to take a little bit more white face paint from the same palette, and I'm gonna use it to put into the highlighted points of my face, just so that we don't look like flat, you know. I want it to look a little bit more 3D and like actual skin. So that will help this. So let's do it. Now that I threw on that white shade, it has made everything look a little bit more 3D dimensional. Now, to set all of that white face paint, I'm going into my Smoke Show by ColourPop. Yes, we're gonna be diving into some ColourPops today. And I'm just taking the white. I'm just using that to set all of the areas that I just put all the white face paint onto. You feel me? Oh yes, honey, I'm living for it already. Like, I love it just like this. Like, I love the makeup kind of just like simple, just, just blue like this. I'm kind of living for it. Should we stop or should we keep going? Tell me. Okay, now we are going to dive into officially the Blue Moon palette. And I'm gonna use it, like I said, 
to lock in all of the blue face paint. Basically gonna use this entire pan of eyeshadow. <laughs> That's a bit darker than the face paint and it might actually make for a good contour shade. We're gonna use it as contour, Never mind. <laughs> Mistakes always happen when it comes to makeup, but this was a good mistake. This fucking hair. If I can get this hair to stay out of my face. Come on, come on, get on there. We're on a time crunch tonight, baby. Got other things to do, other people to fuck. Okay, so now the skin is finally complete and I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. On camera, I make it look so easy, but hmm, it's really not. Anyway, now it's time to move on to the eyes. So that'll take me another 500 hours, so let's begin. <laughs> She's warmed up, ready to hit the stage. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm going for, so just keep that in mind, you guys. Um, I'm just going to do whatever tonight, okay? <laughs> it's the end of the year, Marshall's tired, all these makeup looks take a lot of work, to say the least. So yeah, I'm just gonna freehand it, so to speak. And we'll see whatever, ha whatever happens, happens. You feel? Oh, it's getting a little cold in here. I'm actually, no joke, I'm thinking of keeping the eye look pretty simple today. <laughs> I know I have never said that before on my channel, but I'm thinking just like nice and simple for the first time would be cute with a few little crystals. You know, I've got some crystals here. You, you know, I love them. <laughs> so yes, that, and I also have some white mascara. Never done that before. So I'm excited to try that out. Um, but yeah, let's whip on some eyeshadows. I kind of went in and I kind of deepened the crease already and I added a little bit of white eyeshadow, you know, uh, below the brow and in the inner corner. Um, and now I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm just gonna play. We're just gonna play. Okay, I gotta turn my heater on because I am like freezing. <laughs> Jack is keeping me cold, y'all. Sure. I'll be singing for you in 2021. New album? <laughs> Coming soon! Ah, ooh, my nose itches and I can't itch it. Ah! Sorry, I gotta come over here and like really stare into my mirror right now. So if I'm out of frame. Sorry about it. Now diving into the Morphe Pride palette. I am going to be using this shade called Art. It is more of the color shade of my wig, and we're gonna use it as a transition shade. So just taking a little bit, tapping the excess, excess, I mean, and then we are just gonna place it right above that darker shade of blue to kind of blend in um, the crease. And then it will kind of tighten that color of my hair. Yes, honey. And I'm also gonna drag it down below the eye as well. Kind of smoke it out a little and bam. All right, now it's time to add some highlight onto the eyes. Like I want to look icy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so taking the shade Liberation from the same Morphe Pride palette, it's going to um, work perfectly as a highlighter. Yes, it's almost got like a greenish tint undertone to it. Um, oh, these little hairs. And I'm just gonna place that in the highlighted areas and make it look really nice and icy. Yes, you see that? Mm -hmm. And I'm just using my finger because it's actually working a lot better than using a brush for some reason with this shade. That's okay. Whatever you gotta do to get that shine, honey. Yes! I think that just about wraps it up on the highlighting portion of the, today's video. Bam. Get on there, motherfucker. All right, time to break out the white mascara. 
Let's rip into this bitch. Is this white or is this off-white? Oh my god, it kind of looks like off-white. It doesn't even look... Like the bottle itself is wider than the mask. Oh my god, okay. Are you kidding me? Is this gonna do anything? Hello. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna put it in my eyebrows too. Hopefully this is okay to put in my brows. <laughs> Ooh, girl, that big cute. Okay, why is it coming out in big clumps? Oh, I am not impressed with this so far. All right, now for the fun part, the crystals. Let's pop them on. So I'm going to use some blue little crystals and also some iridescent ones. Just place them randomly around the eye. This will make your makeup look look so fun. It just brings the whole look to life to me. So I'm just gonna stick these on real quick. Oh yes, baby, yes. Oh, loves it. Oh, this is so difficult. No pressure, y'all, because you cannot, so the pressure is is that once you put it on there, that's it. Like, if it falls off, it's gonna take the makeup off with it. So that's why it's a little stressful. And you also have to try to make it like symmetrical the best you can on either side. Like that one's not symmetrical to the other eye, but it's gonna have to be okay. All right, you guys, now all that's left is to figure out what we're gonna do for the lips. And is it bad that I kind of like the normal lip a little bit, but I don't know. Should we just do it all blue? I think we're gonna have to do it all blue. So I think I'm just gonna use some eyeshadows because I don't have any blue lipstick. I know, I'm failing. Um, all right, so let me try doing that real quick. I might need to add a little bit of face paint on there. I hate that harsh line on my lip. Do you see that? Ugh, hate it. I feel like my teeth look really yellow now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade. Just place it to the center of the lip. My God, I've got like skin like wanting to fall off my lip. It's so dry. I gotta stop staring at the monitor. <laughs> I forget that there's a camera right there. I'm like looking at myself. I'm ready to film this outro. I am ready to take 500 billion pictures for my Instagram. I just fucked it up. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I think just keeping it nice and a little bit simple. I love how we're saying that this is more on the simple side for my YouTube channel, but it really is. Like, I didn't really do that much to my eye look today. Um, but I just love how it looks. Like, just all blue. Oh, oh shit. I gotta do my hands. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll paint my hands. But I am ready to take 500 billion pictures for my Instagram and social media. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and film this outro. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for my Mrs. Frost makeup look. I hope you love it as much as I do. I think it turned out really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yes, so stay tuned though because I have one more Christmas makeup look for you. So I will see you tomorrow. Now, I know that I did not get to dive into, I ah, almost dropped it, my Mayron PR package, but don't you worry. Uh, there will be many more makeup looks and makeup tutorials to come in the future, and I will definitely be using every single bit that is in here. Um, I wanted to keep the look a little bit more on the simple side today. I'm not gonna lie, like that. This is like the most simple eye look I've pretty much done on my channel. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, so yes, if you enjoyed, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out, of course. And subscribe to my channel. We're growing, we're growing, y'all. With each, every single video that I put out, I'm growing a little bit more and more and more, but we need to get a lot more of us. The Sharp Squad needs to be bigger, you feel me? So, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. Everything will be listed down below in the drop box. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Like I said, I will see you tomorrow. Stay cold, stay... <laughs> Nana, give me some phrases, what should I say? Stay cold, stay, stay, stay chilled, and stay sharp. Mwah! I love you guys. Bye. Stay 
sharp. sharp.